Now, do you realise, guys, how long it takes to shoot a video like this? It takes like an hour. <laughs> it doesn't take me that long if I'm sitting here not talking because I'm babbling and doing all different kinds of crap. It takes me forever. Hi everyone, welcome back to Nixie Bobs. I'm trying a little bit of a different greet. Do tell me what you want. Do you want me to just stay as the one that I do? I just thought I'd... But we are here for something I haven't done for a while. I actually haven't done any makeup videos since Christmas Day. Uh, and I've got a funny story for you because I went out last week accidentally. Well, no, I didn't know, sorry. I went out last week, uh, I had to pick up a few things and I very, very accidentally ended up in the middle of Boots when they'd done their 70% final reductions on stuff. Consequently, I left with a big bag of stuff. Only one piece of which was for me. The rest of it were presents for other people which are behind me. I will share with you, I kept this uh, from something else. It is um, Sleep Makeup Highlight Palette and I will show you this at the end of this video because this, it, Sleek isn't exactly, it's more like a drugstore brand per se, but this highlighter, these highlighters, particularly these two, are everything they are so good that i'm actually going to go and look at the brand today and see if i can get something else from it it's that honestly i i tried it out like i, I opened the pack to have a look and i looked at those highlighters and was like oh I'll just have a i was like i have to keep this palette i'm here to show you something i ended up accidentally buying so we have not seen smashbox on this channel really before have we no this is the box that it came in it is create and transform eye lip and face palette and I got this for a snip. I got this for £30 in that 70% off sale. I could not believe it. This was originally, according to the website, 70 quid. Don't know what that converts to in dollars, but oh my goodness. Do you want to see what you get? Look at all that stuff. Really, really good. So before you even, you know, you can't even say 10, 10 and 10 because that will be 40. So you've got a really good amount of stuff here. So I'm not in a full understanding of this. They did explain it to me a little bit at the counter uh, because my, my Smashbox lady is lovely. Hi. But uh, to my knowledge, I think you can transform different things. So I know that with the lip colours, these few down here transform it. It can give it a glow. Uh, and I believe the shadows work the same way. Uh, either way, I just came on today to experiment and have a little fun. And you'll probably see I have one eye done and we are about to do the other one. I figured it was probably smarter that I sat there and worked out what I was going to do before I came on rather than come on and go, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I came up with this, which is mauve going into like a shimmer. It's got a pink undertone because I did use one of the transformer shades on it. And then I packed on a more matte color just so it had a hint of pink underneath. Simplistic, little bit dark, but also suitable for not being too dressy, which when I'm only going out today, I don't exactly want to go out with glitter all over my eyelids. I just want to have a little fun. By the way, I know I've not finished my brows before you ask. It's something I started trying recently. I always find when I do my brows, once I've applied foundation, I end up having to redo this bit anyway. So I just figured shape in and then just do that little bit at the end. Seems to make more sense. But I am going to be showing you how to do this today. Uh, and I will come back once I've applied all my makeup because you can probably see my skin hates me today. It's not the best. Okay, so out of all of these lovelies, I actually used the highlight shade here on this part because it's a very neutral color and if you haven't stuck around this channel for a long time I'm not the sort of girl who does contouring I don't believe in it I don't really like the idea of it we're gonna start with that one and I'm gonna use that just all over the top of the eye most of the brushes I'm using I think all of them actually are spectrum and I love them all but I had no idea what any of them mean. I got a whole big pack for Christmas that I adore, but I'm no makeup artist, so I don't know necessarily what each brush means. I just know I like the tip and it works. I actually think this is meant to be for a face brush, this one, but it works so bleeding well on the eyelid. This is where I'm going straight on to the shadows. Get two, four, six, eight, you get 10 gorgeous shadows in here all of which I can see me using I can't wait to use this one here but for now we're going to be using this one which is plummy it's not focusing slightly I greatly apologize for that I can see it in the back I think we're just too zoomed in huh, is that better? so plummy is a purple is this lovely lovely purple shade right here and I'm going to start out a little blending it in slightly but then I will go back and redefine it later 
And I'm going to use my lovely Clinique shader for this. Again, I saw a video, I wanted a similar brush, I found a similar brush. This one is quite expensive though, it's £16 when you buy it new, so do watch out for any promotion, stuff like that. Debenhams running spectaculars, stuff like that. And I'm literally going to take this all in the outer corner. I'm going to pack on quite a lot because I will blend it out. And as usual, I'm going to tell you guys, I don't tape or put anything on my lids. But we will sort this out later. So I'm not particularly fussy with making a big mess right now. Because I kind of like making a big mess when I do this. All I'm going to do is slightly graduate that along the top. But I'm not going to take it out too much because I will redo it later. Now we have a really lovely purple outer corner there. I know it's messy. Don't worry, we'll clear it up. I don't like the idea of putting the tape. I just figure it's dangerous to put tape near your eyes. And I figure it cannot be good for this delicate part of your eye either. Just my call there. So the next shade I'm going to use, and I am borderline obsessed with this colour, it is Night Shoot. Now, if you can see this black shade right here, let's see if you can, huh? Right, it is black, but it has got rainbow glitter in amongst it. It is bloody gorgeous, and I cannot wait to use this for an all-out grunge look. I'm going to a gig uh, in March, and I can't wait to use this. I'm already planning it. That's how excited I am to use this. Why have you gone orange? My camera has gone orange. Come back to normal shades or I'm going to have to try and tint you and I'm no good at that on iMovie. Thank you, that's better. So with this shade, I'm going to use more of a flat brush. I know it's a crease brush. I don't particularly know what it does. I'm going to take a small dab of that. I don't want much because black will really overpower. And I'm literally going to press that right into my crease there. Can we see? So we get a lovely definition on the eyelid. I'm going to stop there though, because any more and it will be too much. And then I'm going to come to this little guy. If anyone's interested, it's Spectrum B06. I have no idea what that means. I love being blissfully unaware of these things. And I'm literally going to blend that right down so that it's not so harsh. What I do with this brush, I'll show you. I use it and lightly press right into the back of the socket. I don't go too hard. You don't want to like do this and attack your eyeball. And then I just go back side to back, back to front, sweeping, so that you get a nice shading and not so much of a block colour. So before I go to sorting out this purple a little bit more, I'm going to clean up the eyelid because we're not going to get this toning on this eye unless we do something. Now, some people at this point will use concealer. I'm going to go back to stay, don't stray. I don't like the idea of putting concealer on my eyelids. I do feel like it's contributed and attributed to me having dry eyelids in the past. So I will only now use products for eyelids like stay, don't stray. And I do love this very much. So I'm going to tap that on there. I'm not going to use too much. I've got a double-ended concealer brush here and I'm going to use the small end. This is no expensive brush. You can buy this in Superdrug. It's QVS. It's nothing special and it's brilliant. You don't always need to spend top dollar or top pound to get a good brush. And I'm going to, I should have done this the other way. I'm going to use the small end to find my eyelid and just blend it halfway so that we can put a slightly lighter colour on top there. So just while that's settling in, I'm going to pop back to Plummy. In it. By the way, there's roadworks going on outside if you hear any big loud kabash and krangs. Kabash and krangs? What is that? Crash and kabangs? <laughs> What am I saying? Right, plummy. We were on plummy, guys. Let's take it back a notch. Right, so I'm going to pack on a little bit more of the shade right now. And I'm going to use the point. So we have a point on this brush. I'm going to point that down and around there so that we start to frame out the shadow. I'm not going to go too far out. Because now it's more purple and less... I don't know what colour that is type thing. I worry that I do that. I try to get defined colours and I think because I prefer things to be a little bit more neutral, I always end up blending it a little bit more than I like. 
Right, so I'm going to show you a slight hack. Now, I have my primers on already. I've used Benefits Professional, uh, and obviously I use a matte product just to stop the oil, con control the oil on my nose. So I've already done under eye concealer on this eye. So as usual, my favourite thing is Shape Tape Tar. Every time this comes on offer on QVC, I buy another one. <laughs> I've got, I looked, I got another one through last week and I actually looked, I've got four spare shape tapes, no lie. Uh, so I'm done for quite a while, but literally because the product is so pricey, anytime it does come on easy pay, I will always stick one either on back order or buy one outright because, you know, it's a lot of money. So to angle out my shadows, and I've been through this with you guys before, I'm going to put a slight line there. And then I'm going to do my under eye concealer here. So you don't need lots of shape tape. That will do your whole under eye beautifully without a single problem. You can see on mine, this was all I used. And you don't need to do a huge triangle with this product. You really, really don't. It is he it's not heavy, but it's a really good consistency of a product. So that means you just don't need to use tons of it. So we're going to use three tricks for this. We're going to go back to my double-ended concealer. We're going to use my number seven sponge, which, yes, it was just used, so please excuse it. Uh, and I'm going to use this Tarte brush. Don't know where I got this one from, but it's really good, especially on the under eye. Probably isn't meant for that, but it works. So there's two methods, really. Uh, and I'm going to use the sponge first. I'm going to take the finest point. This is a number seven beauty blender. It is amazing, and it's the only one I like to use now. So we can see that. So we can see how that angles out and now I can see how I need to level out the shadow. So I need just a little bit more of a point down here. And I'm going to pull it just along that line slightly there. So that's like a guide. Okay, so we can see that. That's how I work it out. I like that. Easy peasy, no trickery, just simplicity. Go back to the sponge, pointy in, Nixie, wrong way. Come into that inner there and shape tape is such a delicate product so i've never had a reaction with anything tart which is why i love the brand dab that in with my with this side and then just buff it out slightly so you can see with that one tiny stroke how well that's done and we've also got the angle now so we don't have that mess that i had a minute ago and what i'll level it up to the eyeliner as well so before I apply eyeliner, and I'm going to go off camera today because I never get it in the bloody shot. Honesty, guys. I'm good at honesty on here. Going to go to Transformer Shades. So I'm going to use another different brush. This is a CO6 for anyone who knows what they mean. I'm going to take the shade Bewitched, which you can see right here. It's the lightest shade. I was debating whether I'd use this one, but I don't believe I did. I believe it was this one. I'm going to take a brush full. Not too much. And I'm going to dab it now that the concealer's set all in that inner part there so that we get a nice brightness and you can probably see the transformer it's like the um new urban decay palette Del delusion disillusioned can't remember what the new ud one is where they've got all those wonderful transformers in the top and they make it iridescent this works a little bit like that i believe I'm going to pat that in there so you can see we have this distinct brightness. I'm going to redefine the frame with a little bit more plummy as well later. So you can see, I'm going to come in as best I can, but you can probably see that where that was white, it's now got a slight pink shimmer about it. That's because it's reacted to the plummy, which is something about this palette I love. I think it's so amazing. It's such a well thought out thing as well. So I'm going to add a light dash of vanilla, which is the lightest shade in the shadows part of this lovely pack just on top of it so that you get just a hint of pink and not a crazy crazy one also this will brighten this part up even further I'm also just going to use vanilla to whack out too much of the black that was there right let's put on some eyeliner off camera because i suck at doing eyeliner though so i'll be back in a minute so eyeliner is on i suck at trying to get eyeliner on screen i always seem to be off like that and you seem to be looking at my forehead so i'm just giving up now eternally from doing that but if you have any shadow underneath that's still lurking once you've got your line all i do is come back to the very fine part of that concealer brush and i just use any excess i don't tend to put any more on because i tend to just screw it up if i do that 
and I just dab along there to keep the shadow along the eyeliner line right there so it's perfectly set see that so let's whack on some mascara I think you use two favorites we are going to use their real primer followed by roller lash I love this mascara I think I actually like this more than their real This is why I don't need false eyelashes. Look at the length on that. And I've only done two coats and one primer. It's crazy. I had to just add this. I know that you're looking at finished eye now. It's because I actually just turned the camera off and realised I forgot to do something. Uh, so the last thing that I do once I have done all the shadow on this look is to go back to plummy. I take a little bit of plummy and just define into there. And I'm going, I am going really slowly because this is literally how I did it earlier. But it just gives it that final define, shows off this colour and done. And now I definitely haven't forgotten anything else. So from a distance, I already love that. It's kind of old fashioned as well, which is what I love. I'm always a little bit retro with my makeup. So give me 10 minutes. Let's get foundation on. Foundation on. I've used Becca's complexion, uh, Ultimate Courage Complexion Creme. Why? Because I barely need to use any blinking concealer when I do it. That's why I love that stuff. I'm not poor other than I'm on my under eyes. I've used not an ounce of concealer and my skin is basically fine. It's crisp, it's porcelain, it's exactly as I like it. Uh, but we're going to finish now playing with our thing. So I have a few things I'm a little bit confused by on here and I'm probably going to need to look it up. I kind of bought this on a whim. I had points. We've got two different blush shades here. I've got a cheek shade which is arm... Oh, I thought it said armpit. I really thought that said armpit. It's not. It's ampit. Uh, and then I also have rosy and guava down here. I don't know. I'm going to attempt this first. So legend has it, and I'm going to use rosy, that if you apply the cheek shade, this is rosy right here, and then apply the transformer above it, it changes it. So then it does. Okay, so I've applied what, what one I used? Ampit. Not armpit, but ampit. And it does kind of change it up. That being said, I mm, I think I'm just going to actually go for ampit and see how it works. I've got my cheek brush right here. Ever the one to try things out and with no idea what she's actually doing. It's kind of iridescent on the cheek. Ooh, it's pretty though. I like it. Creates just a nice rosiness on the cheek without being overpowering, which I really like. And also I feel I can use a little bit more than I normally would and be comfortable without feeling clown-like, that makes sense. I kind of can't see it in the back. Ooh, I nearly broke it. I kind of can't see it in the back mirror, but in this mirror I can. And it really looks nice. It just catches the light when you turn. We do have a highlight shade in the cheeks and contour set. Uh, it doesn't give me any specific colouring. I have a swatch of this because obviously I like quite a bright light. Oh, well, it doesn't really do much, I'll be honest. Um, nah, it doesn't. It's a bit of a... I didn't realise highlighters could be matte, but this is quite matte. But this is the thing I'm most excited about. Let's try lipstick. I've been excited about trying this lipstick since last week, since I bought this. And I haven't had a chance to use it yet because last Saturday I just lazed around in my jamas. So you get lots of shades. So you've got three Transformer shades and three nice shades. You've got Audition, Red Raid and Witchy. Which are these shades? And then you have Bankroll, Double Take and Fiery as your Transformers. So I am going to, I think... Can I get away with the dark shade? Because I really want to use it. No, I guess we should go for audition. I, as much as it's tempting to use the very, very dark shade, I know I don't need to use it today. So this is almost like UD's Ratcha. It's been years since I used a lip palette like this. Right, my last lip palettes were, um, you'll laugh, were all the toy makeup you get as a kid.
So that just finishes it off and doesn't over... I know I haven't done the under eye, I'm looking and realising how weird this is. It doesn't overpower the look and it just fits in and is neutral enough not to overpower the eye that I've done. Again, as tempting as it is to use bank roll, I'm not going to. Um, shall I use double take or fiery? Because double take's looking at me and I feel like I really want to go for that one, how the fiery is brighter. On the other hand, I get... Oh, no, I'm going to go for fiery. I'm going to go for our initial thought process, which is fiery. Can you notice a big difference between the shades? I can in the back mirror. In fact, I can see the iridescent of it in the back mirror. It is nice. It definitely deepens the pink, but I wouldn't say that it's like, oh my God, that's such a, a show. And I'm getting quite a lot on this brush, I will tell you. I'm definitely pleased with that. The lip palette, I've not had a lip palette like this in blinking years. So having this is cool, but I really can't wait to use those two shades on the end. I'll have to do come back next week, maybe do something a little bit finer on my eye and go all out for one of these shades. Possibly, because you know what? I really want to use the shade over baked and also so spicy and armor. They're just, all the glittery shades are looking at me in the top shadow palette going, use me, use me, Nixie, use me. Okay, let's finish this eye. Uh, before you will kill me back to the shadow palette and I'm going to use night shoot uh, and I'm going to take I'll show you how I do this I take my finest spectrum brush and I'm going to do one shade of it and give it a tap so that we have literally color on one side of this brush only this is my tiniest minutest spectrum brush if anyone wants to know it's an A16 but again I don't know what that means I just know that I like it and it works the way I want it to so I am going to take that right under my bottom lash line up to about that very corner and out pretty much to where my liner meets. I'm not going to go too thick. I'm not going to go too thin. That's how I'm going to stop so that we get a frame. And then I'm going to use this little guy, which is an A12. Again, not a clue. I like being blissfully unaware, which I'm going to go back to plummy and I'm going to blend these two in together. like so this speaks to me i know some people will go really really defined with their under eye shades i just prefer to be i guess a little bit more neutral and natural about it it's always just my aesthetic it doesn't matter how much i cry to do a big banker pal kind of style like so many of these amazing talented people do i never do it right and I don't, as i say i think it's just because that's not my aesthetic and mentally i'm always trying to attain to my own style and there's nothing wrong with having my own style i don't have to do what everybody else does i'm feeling that i'm quite happy with that it's just a hint it doesn't detract and it's not too omg i also finished my eyebrows while i was away by the way so this highlighter i really wanted to show you guys so this little sleek palette right here this highlight palette is just I can't, I'm, ha I'm at the stage with it where it's the phrase I can't even. So I am going to use, I'm actually, I'm going to blend the two shades. I'm going to use, oh, I just put my, oh my God, I just ruined it. No, I just ruined the cream one. Oh my God, I'm sad. Oh, that's not good. I'm not going to put cream on top of my already set in foundation because it makes it go a little bit strange. I'm going to use a concoction of the pink and this shade right here. Basically this line here, I'm going to use a concoction through the brush out. I don't like that brush anyway. So I'm going to dab in the pink and I'm going to dab in the other one. Watch this go on. Look at it. Look at the glow I've got. It's just crazy. And this is budget by makeup. This is crazy budget by makeup. And it just, the minute I turn my head, the light just, I want to go out today and buy some more highlighter from this brand because like, seriously, look at it. I'm only putting that on my bra on this bone here, but just look at the shimmer. Look at the way the light is hitting it. Just like drop mouth, like what? <laughs> Crazy good. Just goes to show you, you don't always need to buy the most expensive thing to get something crazy good. I am going to be back next week to play with this palette just a little bit more because I'm kind of having the obsession phase with it right now. Uh, and I am dying to use some of these shades. So I'm going to see what comes out of my head next week when I play with this again. But... 
I also love with this the movie strip kind of thing of it so if you look into it you can see that everything is like an old-fashioned movie script like it was on a reel which I also love I think that's a really creative thing and I love the fact that you can just fold it into a little book do wish the instruction booklet was a little bit better they're kind of playing with the idea that we all know what we're doing and not all of us do so it, it kind of gives you an idea of how to do it but it's not telling you what to do with the shadows or how they work they you would rely on the lady in the counter for that so i wish they'd kind of been a bit more explanatory with it but on the whole to get this whole thing for 30 quid was great uh, and also it didn't cost me anything because i had boots points so i haven't actually paid a penny for this which makes it even better i save all year boots points i save them all year to be able to buy a treat at christmas similarly to how i save for the lush sale all year uh and when i went to the sale this year there was jack i wanted i was like what You've got all this money in points and nothing to spend it on. And then, as I say, last week was just a stroke of luck. I Sometimes I know these things, but they always tend to keep the boot sale really quiet now because people go crazy and get greedy with it. Like, I was watching people leave with trolley loads last week, and it's like, why are you doing that? Be fair, share with everyone else. I got one of everything I wanted, and that was just scraping the barrel. So wasn't selfish wasn't greedy just got a couple of bits there was actually one of these left so just goes to show you but thank you everyone for being here i know i'm not the best i know i'm not the most glitzy and creative i am who i am and i hope you guys appreciate that i am still raging against youtube's policies by the way um if you would like to help me out with that the best thing you can do is subscribe to the channel please subscribe if you have a minute i really greatly appreciate it if you haven't been here before i chat about all kinds of crap day in day out i'm kind of uh, leaning towards doing videos at the end of the week now so trying to keep it towards thursday and sunday because it's easier for me unless something happens or unless i've got the time in the evening sometimes i come home from work and i work late and it's like you just go to bed so and obviously royal rumbles on sunday so that's even more of a stress because you're like I'm, I'm just like but that is the best way you can help me I, I have got until basically the 19th of february i think they're shutting it off on the 20th or the 22nd but it's not going to stop me putting content out it just means that i don't get revenue from it and it's really really unfair it's a case of the we work just as hard in fact harder than the big names to succeed and you know it just makes me very very sad but the best way you can help me is getting me to a thousand so if anyone can help me do that and if you also are struggling with this and need a thousand i'm breaking my own bloody rule here and saying you know what let's just sub to each other because i just want to give youtube the finger more than anything so if you sub to me drop me a line i'll sub back if you're under a thousand and need the help there you go i'm actually completely contradicting my own self there but you know thanks everyone for being here and i will see everyone again for another video of anything i want to do that was my ipad so i'm going to see what someone's messaged me bye everyone <laughs>